Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Elden Ring video. Today we have a really cool video for you. Not only one, not two, but three of the best ways to get millions of runes right here in Elden Rings at Moglin's Palace. And in today's video, I'm going to show you and walk you through each one of these so you can level up and get those runes as fast as possible. So once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now there's two different places over here at Mogwin's Palace that you're going to form. Should see a video pop right there. That is a video on how you can get the Mogwin Palace the secret way. And also, there's another video right there, how you can get the Mogwin's Palace by using Far Quest. Now, once you make your way over here, the first stop we're going to head to is at the Dynasty Moglin Palace Mausoleum Saving Grace Point. Now, for all of these different methods, make sure you have yourself a golden scarab to increase your wounds. You can also pair that with the Poco Foulfoot. It's going to add extra amounts of runes that you're going to get. Combine both of these together for a whopping 56% advantage to your rune drops. So, as long as you have that, and depending on if you're on New Game Plus 1, 2, 3, or 4, well, the amounts of runes that you're going to get is going to be a little bit different. Now, first off, this is the very first one. It's rather easy to do, and it is still active after update 1.05. In order to get this one done, there's one little method that you're going to have to do. Jump up this wall like you see me doing right here, and in order to get up to the top, you're going to have to jump out. So, jump out, double jump, back in. And that is how you're going to get up to the top right here. Okay, and now you might have a few issues with this, but no worries. That's why I make these videos and I'm walking you through. Now, from here, you're going to basically drop down. And once you get to the last little bit of rock, you want to jump out, double jump like so, and start swinging that sword. Now, the reason why we are swinging this sword is to make sure that the death animation doesn't happen. If you stop swinging your sword, trust me, you will die. So make sure you keep swinging your sword so you can break through that map and you will start to get runes in about a minute and a half. Now, for those of you that don't know exactly what is happening in the background, well, it's basically killing all of the enemies that is in the area, not the whole map, just the enemies in the area. So that is what is happening in the background and that is how you getting your runes. Now, this is your first time doing this on any one of these methods. Of course, not only will you get runes, you'll be getting a whole bunch of different items. You might even possibly get some weapons if there's bosses in the area. So, you know, it's a pretty beautiful thing. So bam, just like that, there is the runes like so. And yeah, wash, rinse, repeat, keep doing this for millions of runes per hour. Pretty cool. Nice. Now, from here, we're going to head over to the best locations, in my opinion, at the Palace Approach Ledge Road. Now, this is what we're going to do. There's two different ways for us to get millions of runes over here. The very first one is going to be a little bit harder, a little bit of parkour to do, but no worries, I'll walk you through it. All right, so from here, we basically are going to jump on top of this rock. Then we're going to jump back down there to where the bird is that you might form. Okay, so that is where we are going. Now, for the purposes of this video, I am going to first show you exactly what you need to do and how you're going to get down here. All right, so first off, you want to jump into the wall, right? And then you want to, what? I die. Yeah, that's because we didn't do this correctly. That is how you die doing this. <laughs> now, the reason why I put that on there is to show you the wrong way and then show you the right way. Because a lot of people tell me, especially on this form, that they just didn't do it right. It don't work. It's patched. It's not patched. Okay. It's still working after update 1.05. And uh, yeah, this is how you can do it correctly. All right, so just follow along, and if you have any issues, hit me up down below, and I'll walk you through it. All right, let me gather up my ruins. Now, let me show you. Now, once again, you want to jump into the wall once. Then you want to fall down, and then double jump, and that'll get you over into here, right? And then you can start swinging the sword. So make sure you do what I did, and fall down, jump into the wall, right? And just fall down, and then double jump into this area, 
where you're gonna break out the map and then once again start swinging that sword and it'll take you about a minute and a half before the runes show up this one over here the map looks very distorted you really can't see anything so you can't really know when you are going to get your runes or even if you're doing it correctly but you are as long as you're not dying you keep swinging your sword you're good to go so just kick back relax and enjoy now of course like i said this one is going to be a little bit more uh, challenging as far as parkouring is concerned if you're one of those persons who don't really enjoy parkouring or just you don't feel like you you can get it done well the next spot is going to be the best way for you to get millions of runes in Elden Ring by far and no worries I'll walk you through that as well so once again it's going to take us about a minute minute and a half and then bam just like that there is your runes like so wash wrench repeat back over here to the lid and do it all over again to get yourself millions of runes right here at Mogwin's Palace and last but not least the best way to get millions of runes it's right over here but we want to need a sword and that's why a lot of people make these videos because not everybody has the relic sword it's going to take you a while to get this right you're going to have to get all the way to radagon take out radagon take out the elden beast and after you take out the elden beast then you get the remembrance then take the remembrance back over to the old lady and then bam you can get your relic sword easier said than done and we'll take you couple of days if you're just starting out so yeah a lot of people go down there and form the bird doing this to me the easiest way is just to get your relic sword come right over here to the palace ledge and just wha-bam just hit that special button and boom just like that you're gonna get yourself a ton of ruins super fast only takes a couple of seconds wash rinse repeat head back over here to the saving grace point and do it all over again this is by far the fastest and the best method in all of Elden Ring to get runes. It's not going to beat this at all. None of the other methods. This is by far the best one. And tell you the truth, this is the original one as well. But you will need a relic sword. But like I said, I got you covered. No worries. So there you have it. Three of the best ways to get millions of runes right here in Elden Ring at Malcolm's Palace. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, right here at Carpool Game, a little wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one.